Good evening and welcome back to Monday Meals in Minutes. So this is the short video series where I show you some super quick and healthy meals that you can pull together when you're most likely to be frazzled at the start of a week on a Monday. So tonight I'm going to show you one of my absolute favourites and it's been a go-to of mine for years and it is sticky stir-fry salmon. I love Southeast Asian flavours so this one has always been a winner for me and it's probably the simplest dish that I'm going to show you in this series so listen up. Today what I've done is I just this morning popped in some nice um, salmon steaks into the fridge in a marinade and all the marinade is is a nice sweet chilli sauce that you can buy at most supermarkets and I've also popped in some teriyaki sauce as well and I've left that marinating today. Now you could just prep that in the morning before you go to work whack some cling film on it and pop it in the fridge. Then I've just taken it out and it's just been sat here for a little while so it comes to room temperature. All I'm going to do with that is wrap it in some foil and I'm going to pop it in the oven on a 190 for about 18 minutes, depending on how good your oven is. 18 to 20 minutes normally cooks that beautifully. For the stir fry, it's a super, super cheat, quick cheat, which is just by the off the shelf, ready prepped veggies you can obviously prep your own but if you are really really time pressed then this is a really healthy you know convenient option to go for and the other really good thing about this meal is again you can chuck in any veggies that you've got left over from the weekend so for example i've got a bit of white cabbage that i'm going to put in and i've also got some sugar snap peas that i'm going to add as well i always like to give my stir fry some depth of flavor so i always um, invest in it some nice fresh root ginger um, some nice fresh garlic and i chop up some fresh coriander just to give it a really nice base of flavors and i tend to cook mine off in a bit of coconut oil so i've just got the rock wok on standby i've got some coconut oil in there i've got all of my bits and pieces chopped all my veggies chopped salmon's gonna go in if you would like some carbs with it, which often we do, then I've just got some really nice red Camargh rice on the go. Now, it's one of my favorites. It's a really, really nutty um, type of rice. I would go for that or I would go for, you know, black wild rice or just wholemeal rice. All better options than just white rice because that tends to be very starchy. So I've got my rice on the go. Red Camargh tends to take, you know, a little bit longer than normal rice, so I keep that going. For about 30 minutes the salmon's going to take 20 minutes and then once the salmon's been in for about 15 minutes i then pop on my stir fry vegetables bring it all together and it's absolutely yummy 